All right, so we're going to do something a little different. We're going to answer the top questions we get from you guys, either through our Facebook, Instagram, website, email, all the social media platforms. Yeah. Next question we get is about the hottest thrill three inch on the market right now is the Dietone. The 349. 349. So, do we have it in stock? Yes. Um, question we get, which I don't know why we push everywhere, is how do I install a free sky receiver? Okay, so we did a prior video, I believe it is published, we can do a link below on that one. Has the Installing the receiver is the same concept as you would with the 249, 249 plus and all that that we showed in the video prior. But the plug that comes with it, the ones we sell at least, I, other companies may be different, I don't know. Ours have an RXSR adapter, so if you have an RXSR receiver, there's no soldering, you literally plug that sucker straight in. Um, there's no need to solder. If you want to do smart port or anything like that, yes, you do have to solder up a wire. It is not needed. You can do everything that, through the on-screen display on this. There's really no point in doing Lewis grips on this particular model. There's, it's just really not needed. Right. Um, that, now, some of the newer receivers, it looks like they're flashed with RSSI firmware just like the um, XM Pluses are, so you can get RSSI on the OSD through AUX12 um, or Channel 16 um, with these guys out of the box. Uh, I've set up two of them now and both of them have that same way, so I don't know if that was a running change in Betaflight that recognizes it or if it's a running change on the RxSR's firmware. So I'll have to go dig into that and investigate. So a future video, hopefully I'll know the for sure answer on that one. Um, but basically, no solder, RxSR. If you want to do XM, XM Plus, um, or some generic weird off-brand receiver, you might have to solder. But the RxSR in the entire Dietone lineup that we carry, as of right now, the 2019 series, they all have a wiring plug for RXSRs. Now it goes from the little 239, the one we crashed into the wall, all the way up to the big six inch. Yeah, the Tyrant, uh, so the, the GTM, range. GTR, um, Every, yeah. and the Tyrant on the five inch and six inch. And series. even the new HD ones that are coming out. Yes. So, um, Also, with the, that guy watching your hand, battery. What battery do I need? Yeah, so for the three inch, the 754 cell fits. However, the factory strap is a little small. Uh, I recommend getting like a little one little dollar straps, a little Grayson straps. They're a little bit longer, and if you run it through, run like the like the, for instance the GMB 750 four cell, if you're going to be running the four cell battery, uh, the strap is a little short, so you're going to want a longer strap. Like we do have these, uh, our house brand straps are a little bit longer, um, but what they did is they ran the strap around the frame and back over. You're going to actually need to run it. Um, around and over that would give you a little bit extra length and you may be able to reuse the stock strap for four cell but it's going to be pretty close so i recommend just spending the dollar and getting a longer strap yeah so um oh yeah so if you're going to do it this way you definitely want to do the little jelly pad things yeah you can see um they ran it through here whereas i didn't run it that way and the last question on the 349 is, will we do a speed test? Because if you guys watch, <coughs> UA Futures did got 114-ish miles an hour, if I remember. Yeah, and Andy RC. And Andy RC got like 107, so there is a discrepancy. And so people want to know, oh, we're going to be the tiebreaker and um, see what the real deal is. I don't know. I mean, American speeds? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Go and these speed left, tests right? will be in miles per hour and not kilometers an hour. <laughs> so... No, I mean, it's one of those things we might do. It just depends on the weather, yeah. but it seems like it's always crap weather. And here in Georgia, we have no seasons. Well, no, we have seasons we have every, every season, day. day. Every yeah. day. Now, I'll be honest with you. That little guy, as you guys have seen our videos in the past, it's tough to pick up in the radar gun. And we go out there with a couple of packs, and we get maybe one reading. And it's not to me, it's not worth showing you guys one reading because it could be the worst reading of the day or the best reading. But I like to at least get two packs of a good three or four solid um, readings on the radar gun or whatever we have to get a good video and good data of what we need to show so mm. the question is if, i don't know let us know if you want to do that yeah and one other thing people are asking bottom plates frame parts stuff like that for the uh the new 2019 series individual frame parts yeah like the bottom plates yeah. or the top skids on guys the bottom plate costs almost as much as the frame kit without any of the hardware and accessories it's only a couple dollars more it's like 20 bucks or something like that roughly to get like this is a 249 plus frame for example you're getting the the camera pod mount you're getting the bottom plate you're getting all the hardware the vtx stack um zip ties grommets stuff like that uh for a little bit of extra money i would just go that we're, we're not even going to bother carrying the bottom plate by itself there's right. just really it's the, not economical. it's only yeah it's only a couple bucks more and if you broke that bottom plate chances are you did some extra damage yeah. so and then you can yeah then you could go maybe build something else later yeah. on. 